Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today is a big day. I just got a text message from Ancestry DNA that my husband's ex-wife's results are in. If you have not watched my videos, a little short history is um, I did an Ancestry DNA test, found out that my dad was not my real biological father, found out who my biological father is, and out of all the last names in the world, mine is the same as my husband's ex-wife and mother of three of his children. So, she did a DNA test to find out if we are related because it's a common last name, but our parents are from around the same general area. So, I'm going to look on Ancestry DNA. I have not opened the results yet. I wanted to do this all at the same time so you can see my reaction because I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but uh, I'm nervous. This is a weird feeling. I never thought anything like this would happen to me. It's just, and before I met my husband, I had no idea that this little town existed. So I would not think that she and I would be related, but when she told me that her family and my family are from the same area, it's just like, how did that even happen? But then at the same time, she was told that it's possible her dad was not her biological father as well. And both of our dads have passed away. So there's no way of testing any of them to find out. So really, the only way is to find out through uh, each other if we're related. So let me get signed in real quick and see what happens. I'm so, so nervous right now. Um... Like I said, it, it probably wouldn't, it, the reason it matters, I guess, is because my stepchildren would technically be maybe like cousins or even nieces and nephews and my stepkids, and then that makes my daughter and my new baby on the way related to them as well, and that's just, that's why it's important, people, to know who your family really is, and if you've got any secrets or skeletons in the closet, when your children are old enough to date, go ahead and tell them, because it would be terrible if they dated someone who's blood related that's it's just better to avoid things like that and that way even medical history um they'll know and not have to worry about any of that Whew, i'm signing in now oh my gosh it's telling me it's the wrong password let me do this again my hands are shaking so it's probably i probably typed it in wrong Okay, let me see. I wrote this password down somewhere. My goodness. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. We're signing in. View full results. Oh gosh, we have almost the same percentage of Great Britain and Ireland and Scottish. Hers is 65% Great Britain and Northwestern Europe, 26 Ireland and Scotland, and mine is almost identically the same. Oh, we're going to be sisters. This is... Um, oh, come on, come on, come on. Let me find DNA matches. That's what I need to see here. If my name pops up, I'm going to cry. This is some Jerry Springer stuff right here. Okay. I don't see it right away, but I do see someone who's on her mother's side, so we know she's not adopted. <laughs> At least not by her mom. Um, Let's see. But I don't see anybody with our last name, so that's kind of interesting. Um, unless there's just nobody, which I don't. I only found a couple of people with our last name on mine. Wow, she barely has any matches at all. This is weird. Mine had a ton of matches. Um, so there's a close family member. I'm pretty sure this is her uncle. And then here's some that say second cousins. So, so far we have not shown up as family members yet, but that doesn't mean that on down the line, but I guess as long as it's not 
close close related like first cousins or sisters or anything like that then it's not a big deal um but it is going to be interesting to find out if if she really does belong to her father so i don't know how we'll figure that out she can help me out by telling me which one of these are her uh mother's family and that way we can separate the matches um i think right here to actually okay yes it shows me i know that this one with this last name is her mother's family so i can create a group and what i can do is separate her mother's matches or the people who match on that side of the family then we'll know the rest of those are related to her father so i guess it's just a big sigh of relief so far that i didn't show up as a sister or a cousin but um if she wants me to we'll keep you updated on whether or not she really has the same last name as i do or, or if it just gets even crazier and she has a different dad out there um if you've had any kind of situation like this please just let us know it's interesting to see we've been looking up all kinds of videos about dna tests and finding family members and things like that um but this is just the craziest thing i've ever heard of that out of all the last names in the world we just both had to have the same one um so i guess that's it i don't really have much more to talk about right now as far as I know, we're not related, but I will keep searching through her distant matches and see if we happen to show up as distant relatives. Thanks for watching.